Now a commentary by Mumia Abu-Jamal. The Constitution and other illusions. We're all taught, seemingly in the cradle, about the glorious Constitution, a document that lies at the center of America's civil religion. School children used to be taught to memorize many of its provisions. Although it's doubtful this is done today in the wake of the disastrous policy of no child left behind, along with the national mythology of the Founding Fathers as Latter-day Olympians handing down freedom from the heavens. Of all our myths, those inculcated in early childhood are those the hardest to shatter, because they're often the foundations of our understanding. But all nations have founding myths. The Greeks for centuries believed in a pantheon of capricious and often malevolent gods like Zeus, Athena, Hera, and Ares to explain the uncertainties and travails of life, death, wisdom, and war. The Founding Fathers, as taught to U.S. kids, is a modern American myth. For how can slave owners be bringers of freedom unless they free their slaves? And about all of them, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, even Patrick Henry, he of give me liberty or give me death fame, owned slaves even as he uttered these words, and they wrote them. Move supporter I. Abdul John used to say, you only need to talk about freedom of speech and freedom of religion and all other kind of freedoms if you ain't got it. Because if you got it and it's real, you ain't got to write about it and talk about protecting it and whatnot. True enough. In 1865, as the smoke cleared from the U.S. Civil War, Congress passed the so-called Reconstruction Amendments, allegedly granting citizenship to millions of black freedmen, many who fought to preserve the Union. They prohibited discrimination and protected voting rights on paper. In fact, through white terrorism, racist courts and legislatures, those constitutional rights were ignored for 100 years by both state and federal governments until the rise of the modern civil rights movement at the middle of the 20th century. And now we have the rise of another myth, that of the freedoms brought by this movement, or granted by enlightened courts. Truth is, new freedoms did emerge for those who could afford it. By that I mean a select class freedom was granted to the black middle class who could access it. For the black poor, the Constitution has all of the relevance as that expressed by the writer Anatoly France, who quipped, the law in its majestic equality forbids the rich as well as the poor to sleep under bridges, to beg in the streets, and to steal bread. Where is the constitutional right to an education, to a home, to a job, or even to life? As long as a piece of paper is worshipped, people will continue to suffer as others celebrate. From death row, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.